If you just got a new device, um, and on this example we have uh, an iPad, and you install Posture Screen Mobile, but you've installed it on other devices, um, as soon as you start that new version, obviously it's going to be blank. Okay? And if we go into the settings, you're going to have to put in all your clinic information in here as well. Okay? It's, it's not automatic. Okay, you have to set everything up again. However, people always ask, well, what about the upgrades that I bought? Well, as you know, and as you can read clearly on this page, the credits are device specific. So the credits are not gonna suddenly appear. They're, each individual device credits have to be managed individually as per Apple. Now, the upgrade features, as you can see, I've already bought these, but they don't show up as being purchased. So the easy way to, to fix this is you scroll down on the bottom and you see this button says restore prior in-app purchases. You click that. It's going to contact iTunes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this uh, so that way I can go ahead and put in my password without you seeing my password. Okay? And then we'll pick back up again in one second. Put in the password. I hit OK. And watch what happens. It's going to connect to iTunes. It's verifying all the purchases. Just give it a moment, depend on your, your internet connection. This should take just a few moments. Here we go. And look, it's restored all my in-app purchases. Okay? But if you notice, remember the credits, or I still have 10 credits here for exercise and 10 credits here. I did not um, restore any credits used or unused on from the previous devices. Uh, as per Apple's rules, those are consumable products, as noted everywhere on iTunes App Store in our product description, on our website, and in our app. Those credits are non-transferable. We have no way of doing that. Uh, so please don't ask us because we can't do it. We don't even know that you're our user. We have no way of verifying any of that. Um, but just so you know, that's the way to restore the in-app purchases. Hopefully this video helps you. If you have any questions, please email us at info at Thanks.